Hey, what's up guys? It's Scott here. Welcome back to the channel. Well, without waiting at all, I'm going to go show you straight up the build. Sorry, we have to wait for that, obviously, because it just looks so good. And that's the two kill, which just makes the whole barrel yellow and then it becomes orange. After this, this is when things get interesting. The entire gun starts to glow completely, which is really neat. So, I did upgrade to level 2, which is why we have the new kill effect, which is, that's the normal one. That is level 2. And last but not least, level 3, the biggest flower. Now, a lot of people have been complaining that they don't like the, the fact that this sniper is a flower. I feel like it is very original. For a lotus and the way the whole gun looks and its weapon inspection, it is phenomenal. I will show you guys all the camos that it comes with. Gold kind of just looks very normal, in my opinion. The Damascus adds a bit of color to it. Diamond, obviously, is always going to look good no matter what weapon it is, even if it is not a legendary mythic. Platinum, very similar to Diamond vibes, but it's very just clean, clean metal. Now, I have used the purple Aether camo a lot, and because I do like purple, I find this kind of okay to pair with. Some people may not like the colors that are pairing with, but that's up to you. And there is the red one. This blue one, I don't understand it. I don't know why I would never buy or rather get the tournament for the blue one, but this looks good. Like, I can't lie, it looks good. And then we have, obviously, the shitty polychromatic camo that nobody liked in that tournament. I literally have one gun with that camo and I don't even use it. The magma looks really good, but obviously I don't want to add more orange or red to this, so I didn't bother getting it. If they do add a tournament camo that has black smoke, we're definitely getting that. Now, we're going to leave it at this and obviously the charms that are there are this one and that one. That's the one that you get from the draw, the yellow jadeite, and then if you upgrade it to level 2, you will finally get this one, which is the pure jade. So, there's the build. We will be playing two games, one will be in MP, so we will do Nuketown Year of the Rabbit because it's a very new map and I've been playing on it and it looks really nice. Nuketown is always a good map to change because I feel like it is simple to change things and to also like create a whole different theme, it is much easier. It is everybody's favorite map also, so everybody will always know the way to go around it, they will never get confused. Perfect map, in other words. Hard point again. Okay, so we will be using the sniper and uh, why am I saying again is because I did start a game before this but I had no players in my lobby so I had to restart the video. Seems like we have a player in our lobby this time which is always good news. I like to see players in our lobby. When it's hard point in Nuketown you really need players to help you out. So I do apologize from now if my hand covers the speakers by any chance. Okay, so I don't want to peek him from there. This one I want to peek him from here. Got you. Oh, missed. Okay. Ow. Okay. So they're just all going RPD. Got it. Don't know why these people's mics are on. They're not even talking. They yeah, don't pick what you can't use. Nope. Enemy contact. I can't. Okay, my movement is so bad right now. What is going on? I don't get it. Oh no. Okay. Yep, my movement is actually bad right now. We need to get it straight. And obviously they're going to peek from there. Who's blocking me? Okay, I don't know what's happening, but there is something definitely happening with my controls. But it's alright. Okay, so he's just going to camp there. That is good to know. Is my team being useful? 
No, they're being absolutely useless. As usual. Okay, there's nobody there. And of course, there's another camper there, but my bullets didn't hit him. Okay, do we have... That's something I'm not sure of. Do I have FMJ in this? I do not. Okay, so that's why they didn't get the wall bang. Makes sense. Also, I'm playing like this because I don't like them and they're all camping. So we have to play a bit cheap. There he is again. Come on, pick me again. Of course he did. Oh, please tell me I have cool blooded. Oh wait, never mind, it's the sniper class. I always have cool blooded on the sniper classes. Oh no, yep, my movement is absolutely horrible today. Okay. I don't know what's going on, but it's fine. We're still getting kills. Is my... Did they change these sticks? And of course, either the K9 or the chopper would get me. Okay. COD needs to add cold-blooded to stop affecting canines, because what's the point of canines if those things still come for you? I mean, what's the point of, sorry, cold-blooded if they can still send canines after you? Of course, the bot's going to stand in the way now. Okay, we're on fire. I just hope nobody peeks us from the sides. That would be scary. That's not going to help them. Okay, so they're just going to be really good campers. And I bet the other player also left. No, he's still there, but we're playing like ass. Okay. That was a bad snipe. Did I get two? Nice. So my bullets are lagging. Okay. I bet he tried picking up the sniper when he had the purifier out and then realized you can't. Lol. Ooh, did I double there too? Nope. Okay, so they always have somebody or the other watching me. Uh, if only my player would be actually useful. He has a legendary dog, but isn't playing like a legendary player. Okay. He's back to killing me again, and of course my teammate is dead before me. You know, sometimes I really wonder, I'm the sniper, but they die first, which makes no sense. Like, I would have lesser mobility and action compared to them, and of course the hit marker made me flinch right there. Chisco is actually ass at this game, wow, I'm sorry for shitting on somebody, but they are actually ass. Not that I'm doing any better right now, with this stupid bot moving like this. And another K9. But we lost the round, as I expected. Well, it's fine, we still have BR to go through. And it is good for quickscoping. At least the build I have currently is amazing for quickscoping. The only downside is, I have noticed this with the Mythic and in comparison to the Legendary. It is not so accurate as the Legendary was. Like, I was easily doing headshots in quick scopes, but it was it is much harder now to do with this because maybe it's just a whole bigger scope. So, we will show you two things, or rather I will show you, there's no we. I will show you two things, which is one, the normal kill effect, where it just appears like little lines. Not usually you can see it on the stock deal queues, meaning ground loot. And then I will show you an upgraded one. Hopefully we can... Show you the double kill as well, because I doubt it. I think by the time the purple drops would be here, we would have gotten many kills by then. But if it does come on time and we do slack on looting, I can show you guys the kill effect 2 and the kill effect 3. Which I will always tell people, buying the Neo Mythics or Mythic Phase 2 is much better. You get attachments, and you also get a kill effect by level 2. The same thing, for phase 1 of mythics, you would need to reach level 3. And trust me, level 3 is expensive. People are spending 
on maxing out their legendaries, I mean their mythics. It makes no sense to me. Why max out a mythic? To share it? Simply drop it. There, I've shared it with somebody who ever wants it. It's on the ground. But the fact that you have to upgrade it all the way to the max to share it with someone? That is clearly a money tactic, and that, it just doesn't make sense to me in any way. Sure, it may show some kind of stature that, yeah, you're a money spender. But I mean, that's not really a good achievement to see when I see other accounts and I see them having a hundred legendaries. I already tell myself, they're a very stupid spender. Because firstly, mythics are the ones that are taking over in skins and rarity and the popularity basically. So if I see people with legendary skins now, it should be at least minimum 20 or maximum 20, sorry. Minimum you have is 5. 5 legendaries right now, you make sense. But if you have more than 20 legendaries and you're still planning on buying more, you're either a content creator, you're either someone who just wants to buy every weapon in the game, or you're just someone that doesn't know how to spend their money and you're just spending it on anything you see. Which is not good. So, obviously spend money if you're a content creator, if you have a way back to get back the money. If you don't, and you're only doing it for fun, don't buy every legendary, I can never understand such people. Buy the ones that you'll use. Or even the mythics. If you don't use a certain mythic and just cause it looks nice, don't buy it. You have to use it and you have to learn how each weapon feels. If you like that weapon's particular feel, that's when you can make the decision of buying the weapon. So, a lot of people don't like the EM2, which is the latest mythic before the DLQ came out. Some people don't like it because it comes with 20 bullets and it is hard to kill. Well, that is a skill issue, definitely. Because I can kill with 20, you can't. So, some people need to just practice with the weapons and they get better. But yes, you will find me using an extended mag on my EM2s if, you've, if I'm ever in normal BR lobbies just randomly. They always have extended mags. So never let go of that. Extended mag is always a must. You know, I'm even surprised the zone's actually favoring us this time. And not to mention, there's not many players in this lobby, so we might just go on a hunt. And let's see if we can find this DLQ. Okay, so we do have one kill, and now the bad news is, I need to go very quickly and look for a DLQ. So I could show you this kill effect before I find another person, and end up killing them with the wrong weapon. So, let's target DLQ, and we will pick up the dingo, why not? Switch those two. Mmm, okay. Of course there's no purple, but it's fine, we don't dip <gasps> There it is, okay. So, here we go, finally. Obviously we're throwing Sniper Expert, that is only for the SKS. And there is Sniper Challenge, by the way, this time. A lot of people have been playing it a lot. I've never found a lobby with bots that is at least dominant bots. There have been a lot of players there, so that's good to see that a lot of people are considering sniping now. Bring back sniping. We need our sniper buffs. Buffs? Oh my god. Our sniper buffs is what I meant to say. And thankfully the DLQ did get a buff, and that is only because it has got a mythic. And if only that green reloading thing does not appear right there, you guys would have been able to see the kill effect, but it's fine. I could still show it to you, because the good news is, it is not the custom one. Are customs planning to come in any time now, or is it still the green one? God knows. You would think there'd be many more. But that one did die- oh wait, now I'm in a solo lobby. Never mind. I'm too used to playing squad solo. And just wait for four of them to appear in an area. But whenever it's usually solo, there's always two. So where is the second one? Okay. And yes, I can never get over this scope. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is too addictive. As even the weapon inspection, I literally don't like vehicles anymore. Just because of weapon inspection. 
if they ever add a weapon inspection to vehicles, I might start liking vehicles again. But for now, it is just weapon inspection and running. And jumping, because you could finally now add that option. It is in the settings, if you guys don't know. So, if you are in MP, you can turn it on. If you are in BR, you can turn it on. It is not available in Zombies, for those ever wondering about Zombies gameplay. And I know we haven't uploaded to Zombies in very, very long. But, there's two things about Zombies. One, I feel like the tasks are too repetitive. Two, I was hoping for more than one map when it initially was supposed to come back. So, I would have made a lot more gameplay on Zombies if they added the transit map, which is... I was hoping for. But we only got Shinonuma, we played that already back in the day when it first dropped, and then it went, and then Undead Siege came out. So I'd already gone through the entire excitement part of it. And I was only playing Shinonuma now because I know the map way better. So the first time it came out, the max I reached was round 12. And it was horrible because there was no ammo crates in the boss stage. You had only ammo in the weapon, and if that ammo went, you had to buy a weapon off the wall, and that means losing all your pack punch abilities. So, it was never a good idea to even do the boss back in the day. At least now with the zombies, it's much easier. And I think we may have found our first player. At least, I would like to think we found our first player. Hmm, he must be a fast one. Or I'm probably going to get sniped. Because I'm just standing there, casually. Okay, well, at least he opened the upgrade for us. That's always good to see. We already have an upgrade. I swear if this is the upgrade station I came to earlier on and I've forgotten, I'm going to be so mad. But I doubt it, because we got our upgrade black market. There's definitely a player in this lobby. Now, where is the sneaky one? Unless they're in a vehicle and they've made their way out of this area, they would be smart for doing that. Okay. So, customs are here, and we can finally show you the custom kill effect. Obviously, I haven't shown you the first one completely, but I'm pretty sure there should be a bot or two coming around here. It's just usually how the game works. So, drops down there, we will come back for it. And as expected, there's always a bot ready for us. So, let's see if I can... Okay, I did not mean to get him on a headshot, I just wanted to slow kill him so that we could see the kill effect better. But that's basically it, it's a very tiny swirl that goes up. To me, it's basic. For a mythic, I, I probably wouldn't live on the default kill effect, which is this one. I would definitely need this one. A hundred percent. And obviously we're rocking diamond on this. It just looks too good with any kind of... And the whole screen that goes dark... Don't worry guys, it's not your phones that are doing it. It is part of the weapon inspection. It makes the screen a bit dark. Which is fine, I'm okay with that I guess. And there is the second kill effect. Nice! Okay, now let's look for the last one because this is after four kills. So things have gone to plan, that is good. So the second kill effect, as you guys see, is a bit more bigger in kill effect. And obviously some people don't like big kill effects because it blocks the view in multiplayer. Hey, for me, I play because of the sake of skins and weapon inspection. So to me, I'm not too worried about dying and losing in competitive gameplay. I'm more worried about the fact that I didn't get to do weapon inspection in the first game of Hardpoint. And that person killed me. But it's fine. I'm still also worried about that player, and there he is, Ujimoto. He has a purifier, of course he does. Of course he does. The good news is we can see him from a mile away when he's using it. So we won't have to worry too much about him. Unless he's a sneaky one and he's ninja and he appears from 
behind me, then I'm an easy kill. Otherwise, he's an easy kill. Hmm. I don't know. Should I make my way there or should I just continue this way? I do suspect he's at outpost because of the... He's definitely at outpost because we did not go to that custom drop and it's taken. Okay. Tracking with Scar in BR. 101. The safe zone is collapsed. Let's see where this little boy is. Ta-da! Bingo. Okay. Time to track him now. When he thinks he's safe, he will die. And there he is. He's going to try and kill the bot. Yes. Okay. How about we let him do that? And then I can peacefully take out his head. Oh no. Guys, ignore me right now. This is this is not me. I don't snipe this badly. I don't know what's going on. Where is he gone? There he is. There's two of them now. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why is he moving so much. It's a bot. Can you stop moving? I did not mean to fire there. And... Okay, there's something definitely wrong with this build. Or, I'm just not playing with the mods and... Guys, never mind. I literally got a headshot at that distance. What is going on? Is it my ballista lagging? Because, as you guys see, I'm not bad. There's no way a normal person would have done that headshot. I got it so cleanly at the ending. So, let's just ignore all the shots that I missed. We're just going to count that one win. And that's probably... All the excitement in the lobby, gone. Ah, sad. There's no more players. It was just him. And we were doing terribly against him. And I didn't get to see the kill effect. Oh, we just instantly snipe because I'm so used to just scoping out and being too worried about others watching me. But it's fine. We still have a lot of players left in terms of players in the lobby, not real players. Bots is what I meant. And yes, we are rocking Gunzo today because I just felt a bit Gunzo. I've missed him. And a dingo with extended mag. And that even golden. Ooh, he has a chopper. Hey, yo. He's wildin', yo. Please don't beat the infantry build. Is it the infantry? Oh my god, it is. And there it is. The full bloom. Is there another one coming? Okay, there has to be. Okay, I'm convinced the Mavewatt mag definitely pushes your bullets, or rather slows them down when you're aiming side to side. Because I've never had a problem with killing people side to side with the DOQ. It is definitely the new magazine that has been doing this to me. But that's fine. It is still a good magazine option because when you hit them with a hit marker, which I wouldn't recommend most snipers doing. They're an easier kill. So with other snipers, make sure it's a one-shot, one kill, or don't fire. Is he going to peek out today or tomorrow? Come on, I know you're there, and you're a bot, so I'm not going to push you. You're going to fire at me as soon as I walk in there. Come on. Okay, so he's just going to stay stuck in there, we're going to push him then. And concussion him. Why is he not concussioned? Uh, hello? I don't understand. I can even hear the concussions from my bullets, but he wasn't concussioned when I hit him the first time. Or have they nerfed it already? The safe zone is collapsing. There's no way they have nerfed the DLQ's magazine already, right? I cannot be uploading a video on the nerf day. I swear, if this is the nerf day and that's why I'm doing absolutely horrible with the sniper, it would make more sense. Well, I, I wouldn't say absolutely horrible. Significantly. Okay, so this is actually being horrible. 
and fight there. Okay. So I am convinced they have nerfed it because it was never this slow. So COD always has to give us hope and then snatch it. And obviously we are going to use the QXR. Let's just back up in case there's a real player on the side to rush us. Otherwise, for the remaining of the game, we're going to be sniping. Hopefully we can get some kills because at this point, I don't know what is going on with this sniper. Or is it that I'm on video and I'm always panicking because I can never get good shots or good kills on video. That could be a reason, right? If you guys have still watched over here, I applaud you. Honestly, the content has gotten boring by now. And it is quite the long video. Is this a player? I'm confused because the way they just stood there was weird. How did the hip fire not hit? Exactly, I was wondering. And once again, we didn't view the kill effect because I'm just too used to having. As you guys see, it's so easy to get headshots once they are hit markered. So, concussion mag, maybe not too bad, but maybe for accuracy and gameplay and quick scoping because I do like have my aim very fast, as you guys see. It is basically the MP build, the same build on BR, which a lot of people like using marksman barrels, making their snipers so heavy. Like, why do you want to have a heavy sniper? You'd rather see your enemy first before they see you. So, MIP light, very OP for snipers. And I feel like it's underrated for most sniper users in BR. And there was the other one. Okay, so for close range we're still doing fine, it's just when things get a bit far, the sniper lags at some extent, or the bullets lag, which is fine. Because most of the time you are quick scoping, you want to be close. You don't want to be too far. Okay, I don't even know if I have FMJ on this. I'm doing horrible. Yay! Against the bot. And there you go. Two concussions, but he is still not concussion. So my theory is that maybe... Right, that's what I wanted to hear. A poltergeist. No, mate. No. No. That's not how this game is going to work. I'm just way better than you. You can't hunt me. I'm the hunter of the lobby. There's no way I'm going to give you that kill. Obviously, a little confession, I wasn't expecting a poltergeist to show up endgame. But hey, that is it for the video. Deal Q, upgraded kill effects, and to think the game wasn't going to be interesting, that last bit, QXR helped, see? So it was good that we picked up the QXR. Or else I'm pretty sure I would have lost to him with the dingo. If I still had the dingo. Or the chopper. So anyways guys, that is it for the video. Just to reconfirm the last build before you guys head off. This is the build. No difference, as you see. The only difference is probably the FMJ that I swapped for Slate of Hand. Which I will change in the MP to FMJ. So basically it's the same build. So anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe. I will try and upload some zombies soon, so stay tuned for that, and stay smiling.